in this video we are going to create an event hub and then get the live streaming data using streaming analytics onto Azure Data Lake and Power BI. So as we discussed in the previous video, this is one of the architectures which can help you create a data lake to ingest data at rest and data in motion. Now in this video, we are going to focus on creating event hubs and within the event hub, you have to create a namespace and then a hub. I'm going to show you step by step. And then once it's created, uh, I'm going to link it up with streaming analytics. So let's just focus on event hub for now. So again, creating event hub. So go to the Azure portal and click on create resource. From here, go to Internet of Things and click on Event Hubs. I repeat, create a resource, Internet of Things, Event Hubs. Now click on Event Hub and select a name. Please note that you are creating a namespace. So select a name, say my, so give a name, my event hub 0626, just a random number. You can cho choose anything select the standard or basic. I would strongly recommend you to select basic uh, to start with. Uh, you don't need so many connections to start with. This is just to understand. And then you can enable Kafka. Uh, you can select the subscription, the resource group, anything which you have in your list. Or, and then you can select a location do not select auto inflate. So let me just quickly select uh, enable auto. You do not select this. And then uh, click on create. I'm not going to create because I already have a namespace, but this is it. Just click on create and it's going to spawn uh, uh, a namespace here. So this is my event namespace. And then Let's look at this. In the new event namespace hub, you would see a resource group, whatever you selected, when it was done. On this one, you see the requests, the number of requests coming in, messages, uh, throughput. So request, how many requests coming in, how many message processed. So it looks like it, it doesn't have any message processed yet. And then throughput. Please note that I have selected standard, but just for your purposes, you can also have a pricing tier as basic just to get you started, right? Now, once you are here in the namespace, then you would look at creating hubs. Let me just create that. So on the left-hand side entities, click on event hubs. Once you create here, you would see event hub. Uh, this event hub is already created, but you can have create a name. here. Just put the name. I would say my events 0626. So you can create anything. This capture means that if you enable capture, it's going to charge you extra dollars. However, it can help you write the messages into a data lake all a blob storage. So I'm not going to go to the details, but capture can help you write all the messages, whatever it is, in your in your um, data lake or blob storage, which is going to be automatic capture. The file format used for this is .avro. So I'm not going to go details into it. Just click on create and your message hub would be created. So what you will have is event 0625, the namespace, as well as the event hub instance. Now uh, let's look at this. So we created event hub namespace and event hub instance. Next we are going to create a streaming analytics. This streaming analytics is going to enable you uh, write the data to Azure Data Lake as well as to Power BI. Let's do that in the next video. Thank you.